either write something worth reading or do something worth writing. So I guess I'll do something worth writing and you can write something worth reading, okay? This is the bargain shelf and I noticed a lot of Calvin and Hobbes and Calvin and Hobbes' says author Bill Watterson is apparently uh, he emanates from he hails from Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, I never knew that. Chagrin Falls. That's Ooh. where he resides. And there are a lot of Calvin and Hobbes books at bargain prices. So it says exceptional value. This is only seven dollars. Revenge of the Baby Sat. I'm not sure what kind of play on words that is. Revenge of the Baby Sat, since Baby Sat is past tense. Weirdos from another planet. So this is for people who are into extraterrestrial theme books. And then you have this. This is like the Christmassy version. It's a magical world. And here is for people who are horror enthusiasts. Attack of the Deranged Mutant Killer Monster Snow Goons. That's quite the mouthful. And I believe, no, this is not it. This is just wonderful dot to dot. But if you're into Calvin and Hobbes, this is the place to come. I'm like, say something. What is this? Right? It says, the world needs your voice. Mine? Yes, yours. Go ahead. It doesn't need to be perfect as long as it's from your heart. I'm just like so shocked. Like, these are the things that kids are reading these days. It's just so inspirational. Like, I don't think I've ever read a book about go ahead, you can speak in class. You know what I mean? I've never had a problem speaking in class, but for people that do, no, so like even this one, dragons love tacos. They sure do. Who doesn't love tacos? I'm at the toy section of Barnes and Nobles. They have puzzles and puppets and plush toys, plus just action figures and Legos. This is almost like a hybrid of Barnes and Noble and KB Toy Store. So, pretty neat. Take me home, brother. Take me home. This is Ric Flair from Pro Wrestling, known for his catchphrase, woo. <gasps> it's Mickey! I didn't know they sold Mickey, Mickey, um, what is it? Puppets. Ow! Oh my gosh, my pinky. Oh, hi! Oh, oh. Well, you're the one that does the Mickey. Oh, kids! I wanted this bag for so long and they have it here. Should I get it? It's $40. What do you think? Am I too old for something like this? They have these toys or plush dolls called Fugglers. Fuggler is an abbreviation for Funny Ugly Monster. And they kind of reminded me of Garbage Pail Kids, the new age version of it that appeals to the demographic of children who are into ghoulies and monsters. They're definitely shooting for the twisted concept. And in the back of the box it says, does not come with manners. This one says, what the? Sleep with your mouth closed. These two resemble gremlins, whereas they also have some that remind me of Coraline with the buttons sewn into the eyes. The green one kind of looks like a gremlin who had a love child with the Grinch. Stranger Things? I don't know about this one. It's basically like the whole village, and everybody looks pissed. Penda. They're coming after you, they're all mad. You know what, I'm... Now, how about Hickory Dickory Dock? Hickory Dickory, Dickory, Dickory Dock. Dock. Okay. Next, let's do Jack and Jill. And now, let's do this little piggy. All, all the way, way home. home. Oh, I know. Let's do Little Bo Peep. 
What is this? Little it never Bobby ends. Has lost her sheep. Okay, so I actually Let's need some. Wow. Twinkle, 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 little star, how I wonder what you are. Oh, here, 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 here,